the multiverse. It's dangerous. I could use an Avenger. It's about time you showed up. On May 6th. Enter a world. Of strange. Try not to break the multiverse, Stephen. Oh, come on. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Made PG-13. You can see it in premium large format in IMAX. Tickets on sale now. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk all major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and much, much more. I'm your host, Chris. And today, yes, another new Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness TV spot trailer. However, this one does have some merit and is worth talking about, as there are a lot of new scenes dialogue and reveals showing up in the trailer that we just watched we're gonna go through it and just kind of bring up the little different parts about it because the excitement and hype for dr strange in the multiverse of madness in my opinion is really really starting to grow as we do approach that release date which is just around the corner if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel and turning on that notification bell. And you can also check me out on my other socials, Instagram at Chris M. Rosser and Twitter at The Culture Chris. The links to this and others are in the description down below. So this new TV spot starts with Doctor Strange talking about the multiverse and how it's dangerous and how he could use an Avenger. But the real cool part here is we get another look at that secret realm and what we see in the very middle of it. What we were trying to guess earlier from different images, it's the dark hold. I wasn't really sure what this big radiant blue light in the middle of this room where we see Doctor Strange, America Chavez, and Christine Palmer enter through a strange door. However, now we get a very, very good image and it's the dark hold propped up in a different realm that we haven't really quite seen just yet. Now, if we really want to start looking at the details right behind Doctor Strange in this first image, you can see what appears to be a stained glass window, which looks a lot like the Sanctum Sanctorum, which we have many different fan art posters, official posters, and scenes where Doctor Strange is standing in front of that very same window. So this is a very interesting dream dimension, or maybe somebody else's Doctor Strange dimension, where the Darkhold is being used, and the Sanctum Sanctorum has changed because of the use of that Darkhold. It's also possible that this is the Book of Vishanti, which contains the most powerful White Order magic and the spells known to counter the Darkhold and its Chaos magic. We don't have a confirmation on which this book is, but it does glow blue, which I feel like the whole theme of the Darkhold has been dark, purple, red, Chaos magic, and this one's glowing blue, which for me, you know, just from what we've learned from lightsaber colors, blue is a good color. So red versus blue is a very, very normal, this is good, this is bad, easy for people to understand. So it's also possible that this is the Book of Ashanti, and we actually also see Defender Strange and America Chavez chasing after this same book in the exact same teaser trailer. Here's the scene right here, but this is actually rumored to be very, very early on in the movie and Defender Strange and America Chavez are actually trying to get to it to ward off all of the demons that have been chasing America Chavez. It's also rumored that this scene may actually show us the death of Defender Strange, who we've talked about a lot but might not actually end up being in the movie very much. After all, maybe it turns out America Chavez goes to him first to seek help and after he dies she's forced to go somewhere else. It's also important to note that the Book of Vishanti can only be used in defense and not offense. It's a very good book. It's it's the counter to the Darkhold, so it's likely actually that that's what's happening here exactly. They're going after the Book of Vishanti to counter Wanda and the Darkhold. But let's talk about this new Wanda dialogue that we've gotten because there are some really cool things that she brings up. The first of the new dialogue takes place seemingly, and according to the trailer, when she is in the orchard, where she says, it's about time you showed up. Now, this actually contradicts what we've seen before, where she knows Doctor Strange is coming, but doesn't really expect him to come to ask for help. It is possible that she's just saying it's about time you showed up because I knew you were going to come yell at me about Westview, and we've seen in other trailers, well, I'm not here for that. It's also possible it's just a voiceover and it's not belonging there whatsoever. There have been a lot of times now in movies where trailers have shown us different scenes with different kind of information, and it's either not in the movie or they've moved it around, and it's just kind of filler footage for trailers. However, this new piece of dialogue is even more exciting, where she says, Try not to break the multiverse, Steven. 
Here we see her standing in a relatively new looking location and there was a plot leak that says we're expecting to see her make her way to the middle of the multiverse, the center of the multiverse where she believes she will have the power to summon and bring back her kids so that she can have her perfect fake made up life. However, it's possible that she beat Doctor Strange in America Chavez here and if she has been using the Darkhold as we already know she has and he did get the Book of Ashanti, it's possible that this is where we will see the final showdown. And what do I mean by that? Well, a month ago or so, the director was talking about some different Q&As for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and he revealed to us that it will happen, a big final showdown between Wanda and Doctor Strange in this movie. There will be a clear winner and we will know who is more powerful. Well, if Wanda has the Darkhold and her chaos magic, and Doctor Strange has learned a thing or two about the Vashanti and how to use it to defend himself from Wanda's chaos magic, we might be getting a very, very cool showdown after all. Wanda is at a point of her absolute power, and although we have seen a lot coming from her as a character, and there's probably a lot more she can still manage, this is definitely the strongest she's been. Doctor Strange, however, continues to learn and grow every day as a character and has had a lot more training. So the inclusion of a book like the Vishanti and getting extra power in order to withstand the Darkhold and the Chaos Magic coming from the Nexus being Wanda could put us in for a very, very awesome fight overall, which I'm excited to see and I kind of hope, you know, is the case. We see other images of this Middle Earth here where the Vishanti or the Darkhold might be sitting. We haven't really gotten a confirmation about which one it is. But we see that stained glass mirror again, that stained glass window again, and we kind of see what looks like the Comertage below it. So now I, I'm really not sure exactly what it is. However, we can say this, and if you haven't seen Moon Knight yet and don't want any spoilers, I will be talking a little bit about Moon Knight in this final rant, as I want to talk about the future of the MCU. We got a taste last night in episode 4 for a lot of new things that could be coming in the MCU. Specifically, that kind of horror vibe that was described to us about Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, we definitely got some of those tones in Moon Knight. And if it's gonna be even more intense than that, which is a possibility, I'm really excited to see where they're going. As they're being chased around by Egyptian demons and different gods, lots of crazy stuff is going on. And then at the very end, this the absolute blowout of the mental asylum, everything happening that we need to try to figure out and piece together, well, it gave you just a really cool, different type of feeling of adventure, something Marvel hasn't really done yet. We also got the inclusion of gods and presences of gods. Things are getting really, really crazy in the MCU, and Moon Knight is really just highlighting that for us so far and giving us the idea of, wow, here comes the Thor Love and Thunder trailer that we just saw that looks even wilder with the gods and the inclusion of the gods, and now we know that there are all of these different gods that have avatars on Earth, and how many more characters and creatures are there out there for us to learn about with the MCU, with the current timeline? Now we're opening up the multiverse. Things truly are getting crazy. Let me know what you guys thought about this teaser trailer in the comment section down below. It actually was a really fun teaser trailer. That's why I went so in depth with it. Most of them have been very similar. Lots of new footage, lots of new dialogue, and lots of reasons to be excited. Let me know what you saw and what you noticed in the comment section down below. As always, thank you to everybody who watched to the very end of the video. If you found it helpful, useful, or entertaining, consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell. And I'll catch you guys on the next one right here on Cosmic Culture.